Good evening. I'm Pastor Ashley Osborne, pastor at Valley of Peace Lutheran Church. Valley of Peace is located in Golden Valley, Minnesota, and we are a member of the ELCA and a Reconciling in Christ congregation. We're gathering this evening for Good Friday, and as we wait for folks to join us, we're going to open with our opening hymn, which is O Sacred Head Now Wounded, performed by the National Lutheran Choir, and Zach Carlson, our Director of Music, will be putting a link to this video in the comments. Let us listen and wait for others to join us. Again, I want to welcome you this evening for a Good Friday. This is our opening part of our Good Friday worship service. The bulletin to our services are located at valleyofpeace.org. Right on the homepage, you'll see a PDF of our Good Friday bulletin. We're going to open this evening with an opening prayer and introduction to a recorded Good Friday service all around the image of the cross and lament as well. We have had several folks from Valley of Peace participate in that service, so thank you to those participants, and you'll see all of the participants listed in the bulletin. As we continue journeying in these three days, I want to invite you to be with us on Easter Sunday. There are several opportunities to be with us this Easter. Facebook Live at 7 a.m. for a morning sunrise prayer service from the Sanctuary of Valley of Peace. And then at 10.15, I'll be back here on Facebook Live for a more traditional Easter service, as traditional as we can try and get as we worship in our homes this Easter season. And then at 11 a.m., everyone is welcome to join us on Zoom for a fellowship hour, coffee time, as we greet one another this Easter. So I hope that you are able to join with us. Often for these services, I invite you into a ritual act as we begin worship. But after last night's stripping of the altar in our homes, I've packed away our candles and our religious materials. So I'm going to invite you to take a deep breath, begin in the silence of this evening as we settle in to hear a familiar story once more. Let us begin with a time of silence. Our call to worship this evening is from Galatians 6 chapter or Galatians chapter 6 verse 14. God forbid that I should boast of anything but the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. In him is salvation, life and resurrection from the dead. By him we are redeemed and we are set free. May God be gracious to us and bless us and may God's face shine upon us. Let us pray. O oh God, we return today to remember the love and sacrifice of Jesus and to contemplate what it means to have faith in the midst of suffering, loss, and injustice. Even in this story of broken lives and broken hearts, we trust in your presence, your power, and your way. We trust that in the midst of suffering, you, O oh God, are our comfort. 
when the curtain has ripped, the thunder has rolled, and the world appears to have lost its savior. You, O oh God, are our hope. We wait for you. This we pray in the name of the man of Nazareth, the one who lived with a great passion for your way, the one whose death is nigh, the one who taught us to pray, saying, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. In our worship services, we take a offering pause. This is a time to remember the gifts that God has first given us and the way we continue to use these gifts, especially at this time. And so I invite you to think about the gifts that God has given you and the way you can serve your community, your loved ones, any organizations that are close to your hearts. And we hope Valley of Peace is one of those organizations as well. There are a variety of ways to give with our talents and with our treasures. If you are in a position to give financially, there are a variety of ways to give financially to Valley of Peace. We do still have folks coming in to um, count offering every other week, and so you are invited to mail in your offering that will be held safely. You also are invited to give electronically. There's more information on the website, valleyofpeace.org about that. And then you can also text to give. The number to text is 763-402-9174. Thank you for your gifts. And we have had many Valley of Peace members share their gifts in helping create our Good Friday service. Like I said, that will be here on Facebook Live on Facebook Premiere. So that's pinned to the top of the feed. So you should be able to find that Premiere video right away. It'll start playing right at seven o'clock. If you're having any problems with that video or accessing that worship service tonight, please go to the Valley of Peace YouTube page because that video is already loaded there as well. Zach, if you could post a link to that YouTube page in these comments, that would be great. Thank you. As I said, we've been studying the Book of Lamentations, and so our service tonight is around the cross and lamenting. We know that the cross is both a sign of our suffering and a sign of our salvation. So we reflect on that tonight and we have many voices reflecting on the cross, both in saying praises of adoration and prayers of lament. And one of the reasons we have many voices is because as we talked about through the book of Lamentations, it is a city that is lamenting. And chapter five, the closing chapter of the book of Lamentations has a variety of voices as we hear from the suffering of all people. And so we as a community make space to hear all voices in our midst. And the service this evening ends in a prayer of lament and a song of lament as well. And just like the book of Lamentations ends in a minor key showing that it is not quite finished, we end our service this evening similar to how we would if we were gathered in person in a time of silence, departing in silence, departing in this place of lament, in this minor key, if you will, knowing that God's story is not finished. And so I invite you to stay here until seven o'clock when that video will premiere. Peace be with you. Thank you.